One of these useful idiots. He's talking about the execution of homosexuals. Somebody takes up a gun, yes. goes into a house, uh-huh. kills a group of people there. And we're talking about homosexuals. Microbes, for symbolically speaking, to spread across the nation. We have laws. I just want you to know, he inserted the word microbes. I don't know. This is a guess. Is this an AIDS thing? The guy was spooky yesterday, and ever since he has been uh, here in New York City, there has been no shortage of protests, and not just from me. However, I, I mean, it's the people we haven't heard from, the special interest groups that love to complain about life here in the U.S., but are nowhere to be found now that the most evil guy on planet Earth is paying us a visit. Let me ask an honest question. Where is the National Organization of Women? Where is the Gay and Lesbian Alliance? Where is the Jewish Anti-Defamation League? I know that life here in America is far from perfect, but compared to life in Iran, actually America is kind of perfect. I mean, we're not murdering homosexuals in the streets. And if some nut job does it, we arrest them. In Iran, they do. We don't beat women for showing their hair in public. Iran does. We don't spend every waking moment trying to destroy Israel. Iran does. Special interests. Why am I doing your job for you? I say, you better speak up soon or forever hold your peace. Otherwise, you're going to be left with the truth of your silence. And that is that you're nothing but a political machine to help politicians get elected. And that's a shame. Arsham Parsi, he is the executive director for the Iranian queer organization. Arsham, um, you were gay in, in Iran, um, and you had a birthday party yourself. And tell me what happened to some of the people that came to your birthday party. Uh, hello, uh, I had a birthday party four years ago, and uh, two days before my birthday party, I received a telephone that Arsham don't uh, invite anybody because the police are going to arrest you, and I just called to all of my friends and canceled the, in, uh, the birthday party. Okay. And I told them I'm going to out of city, but unfortunately, they decided to go to another city, to another home for the the private gathering and unfortunately the police attacked their home and 25 gays arrested and tortured and some of them lashed. Okay, I'm going to show you pictures here in America and this, I want you to know this is the lashing of two of your friends. These, these pictures were taken a month after they were beaten. So you can imagine how severe this beating was. This is 30 days after the uh, beating. Um, now, there is, a, there is a, also a uh, picture, um, a few pictures here of people being hung. Please know that this is um, not stuff you want your kids to see. I just want you to see the truth of what's happening in Iran and, again, ask where are all the special interests speaking out. Um, show me the pictures of the – who are these two? These are the two uh, guys that Iran says were child molesters. Is that true or not, Arshan? Yeah, they were a gay couple that they uh, arrested by their party, the private party in Iran, and they locked 60 lashes for attending to immoral parties. Okay, but they are not child molesters. Are all these pictures of people that are hanging, these are all homosexual men? Yes. And they are not, they're nothing but that? No. They, they, didn't, they committed no crime? No, just they they attending the party because they found each other and they decided to live it together, and they invited couple of the the couple of their close friend, and nothing. Just they arrest them and they told them these sixty lashes just for uh, attending the gay part to the um, immoral parties and for your sexual behavior you will receive the more lashes in future. But two days before the sentence, they they fled Iran to Turkey. Um, Ahmadinejad says there's no Holocaust and there's no homosexuality in um, in Iran. Why would he Why would he deny homosexuality in in Iran? 
Mr. Ahmadinejad denied Holocaust, denied the women rights, denied uh, any punishment for political activities. He, he, he said we don't have any political prisoners. They denied the punishment for students in Iran, and recently they denied homosexuals. And uh, we think the, this is the strong statement from the president of Iran that they are not interested to give any rights to homosexuals. Okay. And this is not right, and they don't accept this right. Arsham, thank you very much. And special interest groups, really, you should be ashamed of yourself.